After exploring Tofino's beautiful nature and beaches and eating its wonderful food, we have made our way to Campbell River and for the next two days we're going to be exploring this area. It's actually located on the east coast of Vancouver Island and it's the northernmost point we're going to be making it while on Vancouver Island this time. But it's also known as the salmon capital of the world so this first stop we're making just makes sense. Before setting out on our adventures for the day, we've made our way to Dockside Fish and Chips. This restaurant is family owned and it's right on the water. It has absolutely stunning views. So since this is the salmon capital of the world, of course we ordered the salmon fish and chips. We recently tried fish and chips and they were so good, but we've never had salmon fish and chips. So we're really excited to try it. We ordered two pieces so we can each have one. And then of course it came with the chips as well. When I think about fish and chips, I typically think about a nice breaded outside and a flaky inside. And this already looks like it's gonna be just that. And I love that it's actually not too fried because if it's too fried, then you're kind of missing out on the fish. So let's just go ahead and try it. I don't know if you could hear that crunch, but that is like literally the perfect amount of fried for me. I don't love my stuff super fried. And just look at that fish and the texture. Oh my goodness. Salmon fish and chips might be the way to go. Let's go ahead and try it with the tartar sauce. I feel like you cannot go wrong. Good, so you'll just yell out 38. Well, right? come and bring everything to you here. Okay, is there anybody to get the beer up? Yeah, totally. They all come and bring the beer. I have no words. This is so, so good. I can't wait for Grayson to try it. And I don't know if I mentioned the size of these, but these are pretty good size pieces of salmon. The next item up for review is the clam chowder. We got a little cup of clam chowder that has bacon on top and it looks so thick. Literally looks like a Dairy Queen thing that you can flip over because of how thick it is. Wow, let's just go for it. It's probably the thickest clam chowder I've ever had. There's a lot of onions, I'm pretty sure that's what I'm tasting here. The bacon gives a nice little crunch on the top and just the overall flavor of garlic and onion and clam and. It's amazing, probably the best clam chowder I've ever had, but it's also a lot different of a style of clam chowder because of how thick it is. I wouldn't really compare it to the other ones, but if I was going to, definitely the best one I've ever had. After trying it myself, this chowder is very thick, like Grayson said, and it almost reminds me of like potatoes. Like it kind of tastes like mashed potatoes with the bacon. I'm just getting that vibe. It's really good, but it's definitely different than any other chowder we've had before. The last thing we got is our mocha donut. It looks so good. Look at the presentation. Look how amazing that looks. It smells so good. They make them homemade. When we first got it, it was really hot. Now it's obviously not because we ate everything else, but I am really excited to try this, so let's just do it. Oh my gosh, this donut is so good. I'm so glad we got one. We almost didn't get a donut, but I would have really regretted it. The mocha flavor is so good. You taste that coffee. It's sweet. It's the perfect amount of sweetness. There's like brown sugar on top, and I could not tell you what the filling is. I'm not sure I'd have to go and ask, but whatever it is, is 10 out of 10. If you notice, the mascot of this place is a seal with an eye patch. So that's Richard the Seal. They also have a driftwood sculpture of the seal. And so supposedly this seal used to hang around here, and it's a seal with one eye. And so they put a little eye patch on it, and it's a cute little story. But this entire city has driftwood sculptures of different animals that hang out in certain places at certain times. While we haven't seen any of them, it's just such a cute little story to like listen in on and hear about. And hopefully one day, maybe if you come here, you'll see Richard. Mm -hmm. 
Just a few minutes down the road is Elk Falls Provincial Park. This is actually one of the most popular provincial parks on Vancouver Island. It's known for its salmon fishing, its waterfalls, and this trail we're doing goes to the viewing platform and it actually has a really cool suspension bridge too. bridge and I'm just curious to know how many people go across this bridge every day because just being here for about 20 minutes we've seen about 20 people go across but we're so high above the gorge floor above the water and the middle is so deeply dipped like the sides are very high and this has to be the best view of Elk Falls you're gonna get while you're here check it out Elks Falls was so beautiful. That waterfall was just absolutely stunning and we love the suspension bridge. This island has so many waterfalls. There is definitely not a shortage of waterfalls to see. And tomorrow we have a few more on our list that we're very excited to go to. But for the night, we are on our way to try to find a campsite. We were gonna go to a campground and then we went and scoped it out and pretty much every single spot was full. So we figured we'll just try to find somewhere for free for the night. So we are just driving around and we'll see what we find. We almost booked the campground tonight and I'm honestly so happy we didn't. We just stuck with what we're used to. We got a free boondocking spot right on the water. No other neighbors. The sites really aren't level, but where we're parked is level. So for free, I can't complain. We're making dinner at our campsite and getting a little bit of work done the rest of the night. But we were just talking about Vancouver Island and it's just been such a great time. We've been here for a little bit over two weeks and tomorrow we ferry back over to mainland. And although we've done so much, it still feels like we're just scratching the surface. There is literally so much to do here and we just can't wait for whenever we're able to come back here and explore even more two weeks is a great amount of time but definitely not enough after we left tofino the road that we were supposed to go on to get to campbell river actually ended up being closed down due to a wildfire there were some hikers who started a fire they were not safe about it it was really dry they should not have started a fire and left it unattended but that's what they did they left the fire unattended so just beware while you're hiking camping whatever you're doing just make sure you know fire safety and do not leave your fire unattended and do not start a fire when it's dry because it can be really really dangerous and that road is actually shut down indefinitely which is pretty sad for the whole entire island Vancouver Island we're going to be exploring Strathcona Provincial Park. This park was designed in 1911 and is actually the oldest park in British Columbia. This park is full of rugged mountains and just so much beauty. Even though we have minimal time we're super excited to explore what we can. With our time in this park being limited we picked two trails that we knew we absolutely had to do when we saw them. The first one is Meyer Falls which is on the bottom of Butte Lake and the drive here alone is absolutely stunning so if that's all you have time to do we recommend you still do it.
The trail to do Lower Myra Falls and then a viewing deck up a little bit higher is a total of one kilometer. So it's very quick. We got down to the bottom in just a couple minutes and the view is absolutely stunning. The falls are just gorgeous. Meyer Falls is absolutely stunning. This three-tier waterfall cascades nearly 70 meters and the backdrop is just mountains and there's trees and the sounds of the water rushing. We wish we could spend all day here, but before ferrying back to Vancouver, we have one more stop we need to make. time to come to Lady Falls. This falls is beautiful. It is roaring. The surrounding trees are stunning. Just look at these views. Take them in. It's beautiful. We're making our way back to the car now and the falls were absolutely stunning. The water was rushing, it was so blue at the bottom. And when the water actually crashed down on the rocks, it was creating a mist that just took over the entire area. But our time here is coming to an end on the island. We've been here about 16, 17 days. And we've just scratched the surface of the many things to do here. But we actually have to make our way three hours back towards Nanaimo to hop on a ferry to go to mainland BC. We're gonna be starting our journey over there in Vancouver. If you haven't watched all of our Vancouver Island videos, we're gonna put the playlist so you can watch it. and also make sure you subscribe to our channel so you can continue on our journey as we chase Alaska. See you guys soon.